This is a guide on replacing a screen and a glass digitizer on the Apple iPhone 6S. The screen is integrated with a digitizer and is replaced as an entire display assembly. Turn the phone off by holding the power button and confirming the shutdown on screen. Remove two pentalobe screws at the bottom of the device. Place a suction cup close to the home button but not overlapping it. Pull on the suction cup and insert a plastic pick between the display assembly and the main body. Gently move the plastic pick along the bottom edge, separating the assembly from the main body. Use a knife to cut any additional strands of glue during separation. Once the separation is achieved, open the phone to a right angle. Before we can proceed any further, we have to disconnect the battery. The battery connector is located under a small metal shield. Remove two screws holding the shield in place, remove the shield, and disconnect the battery. Next, we have to gain access to the display assembly connectors. The connectors are located under an EM shield. Remove four Phillips screws holding the shield in place. Keep track of all the screws, setting them on the desk in the same pattern as they were installed on the device. Remove the EM shield. Using a plastic pick, gently open the three connectors. Separate the front assembly and place it on the desk. Take out the new screen and put it beside it. Some components must be transferred from the old screen onto the replacement part, namely the home button, the big metal shield over the LCD, the earpiece, and the camera with sensors on the garland of cables. Start with a big metal shield. Remove one screw at the bottom, three screws on the right side, three screws on the left side, and one more screw at the top. The metal shield is still connected by the black insulation tape. Use a knife to carefully cut it. Set the shield aside. Next, remove the metal bracket over the home button. Remove two screws. Set the bracket aside. Use a flat screwdriver to open the home button connector. Using a plastic pick, gently push the home button out of the frame from the front. Take extra caution when separating the cable. Transfer the home button onto the replacement part. Make sure that the rubber membrane around the button is aligned properly. Proceed on removing the metal bracket over the front camera and the earpiece. Remove three Phillips screws and set the bracket aside. Next, reposition the front camera on its flex cable and remove the earpiece. Using tweezers, gently separate the sensors from the frame while holding the flex cable. Set the entire garland aside. Take the new display assembly and remove all the protective film pieces from the inside of the new display assembly. Proceed on reconnecting the front camera on the garland of cables to the new display assembly. Make sure that each component fits into its own slot. Replace the earpiece and guide the front camera into its placeholder. Replace the metal bracket and secure it with three Phillips screws. Reconnect the home button connector. Replace the metal bracket over the home button and secure it with two Phillips screws. Align the big metal shield with the frame and replace one screw at the top, one screw at the bottom through the home button bracket, three screws on the right side, and three more screws on the left side. At this point, we can reconnect the new display assembly to the main body. Align the assembly with the top edge of the phone and begin reconnecting it. Snap in the three connectors one by one. Each connector will make a distinct click when aligned and connected properly. Connectors are extremely fragile. Make sure to align them properly and don't use any excessive force. Replace the EM shield and secure it with four Phillips screws. Reconnect the battery. Replace the small metal shield over the connector and secure it with two screws. Now we can test the device. Press the power button to turn the phone on. If the Apple logo appears, the screen is installed correctly. 
shut down the phone and finish the reinstallation. Snap the display assembly into the case by gently squeezing it around the perimeter. Replace two pentalobe screws at the bottom. Remove the protective film and we're done.